Hey guys, welcome to the next video. Luke here again with you and we're going to continue building our hydrofoil board from home and today we'll be laminating the deck. So we're going to be putting our fiberglass cloth on the deck, very similar to the last video where we've just laminated the bottom of the board. We're now going to be doing it on the deck. A lot of the same processes, very similar layup. So we'll move through this video a lot quicker than the last one. So you can go and reference the last video for specific details if you need that. So, what will be in this video, we're going to clean up the cut lap, making sure everything's smooth and sanded, ready for our fiberglass. We'll be cutting our patches, we'll be taping off the bottom, we'll be doing that same cut lap. We'll be running out our full length of fiberglass and then we'll be pouring our resin and laminating just like in the previous video. So let's get started. So the first step is to clean up the cut lap. So what, we're, what we want to achieve is that we don't have any sharp edges right here where we've cut along. It's sort of, it's spiky almost. So we want to clean all of this up to make sure that this is smooth, but we don't want to sand that so far that we burn through this fiberglass, particularly with the tint, it becomes very noticeable. So we don't want to be hitting the foam or completely sanding out the, all of the fiberglass, but we want it smooth so that it's not catching on the fiberglass on the new cloth while we're laying it. Um, and we also want to clean up any of these sections that have a double lap. So wherever we were folding the fiberglass last night, <clears throat> so around the tail and the nose, this area here, you can see all these lumps. So we want to clean all of them up, get it all looking smooth uh, so that we can lay this next lamination. So the way we can do that is using a sort of soft sanding pad on an angle grinder, something similar to this, or just a hand sanding block. A block with some hand sandpaper on it would be sufficient, particularly for this step, because again, we're just it's just a light sand to clean that up so that we don't have a, a big step and we don't have any sharp edges, but we don't want to sand it too much. So I don't want to have dust in here, uh, same, same deal as when I was shaping the board. So I'm going to take this back to the shaping tent and then we'll give it a sand and we'll bring it back. Okay, so now that I've cleaned up all of the cut lap, I've sanded everything smooth, it all feels good, and we're ready to move to the next step. So the next step is cutting all of our fiberglass, and so let's talk about the layup. So the layup is going to be one and three quarter, which means that we're going to have a full layer of six ounce fiberglass like we did on the bottom, and then but then the patch is actually a three quarter length fiberglass, so we cut the whole thing around the rail again as well, but in a three quarter length with a V cut to the top. What that does is it adds that strength uh, on the board where we most need it. So we're going to be standing here. So this is where our flex area is going to be. And so we'll be adding more strength by having an extra fiberglass on the rail by wrapping it and also compression strength um, for underneath where our front foot will be. But we'll save a bit of weight by stopping that layer here and not running it all the way through to the nose. We'll also be running a carbon patch again, so it'll be sort of under feet here, and I'm just gonna uh, cut it in a V as well, very similar to the bottom, just sort of a bit of decorative carbon as well as some extra compression strength. And we'll be running it all the way around the tail. I just wanna show you the tail. This is a notorious area for getting damaged, right? Always banging into rocks in the, in the back of the car and whatever it is. So the tail really needs a little bit of reinforcement. So I'll be adding a patch that just will run down there that will just sit in position um, just to support particularly this ridge. And because of the width of the fiberglass, so we're still constrained by the width of our fiberglass like last time. It only comes down sort of three quarters of the way around the rail. And so I'm going to be following that line parallel all the way around the board, except for the tail here. And I'm going to allow that full width because it's getting narrower, so it'll be dropping down, to wrap around all the way to the hard edge on the bottom. And we're, we're about to mark that out with the tape for the cut edge, uh, for the cut lap. But what that will do is it'll allow more fiberglass to wrap all the way around this tail area and make sure that this is really fully reinforced. 
So look, that's the layup. Um, the first step will be using your piece of string again, just measuring down to how much width you have to set out our tape for our cut lap. So let's do that now. So I've finished taping up for the cut lap. A couple of quick points before we flip it over. Because I'm doing a clear lamination now, mixing up clear resin, you don't even really need all of this. You could free lap this and just sort of have the resin spilling over onto the bottom side there and it would still look fine. You wouldn't even really notice. This is just one way to make it slightly more neat because we'll cut this lap and then that the, that sort of uh, line is, is blended more easily and so it does look a little more, you know, professional if you, if you do the cut lap even with the clear lamination. Then on the tail area here, like I was saying, I wanted some extra reinforcement and so I've brought the cut lap up onto the flat of the tail as soon as it's wide enough so the, the cloth will wrap to here and so then I can bring it up to here and just reinforce all of this area. I want to reinforce this point, this point particularly and all around here um, making sure that's nice and strong. So that's why it sort of tapers up like that and then at the nose I've left that's around about 60 millimeters there and I will actually add a little patch around the nose as well for impact resistance. So the first piece that we'll cut will be the three quarter length piece. So just pull in the glass around about three quarters. So the first piece is cut. I've left a lap of around about 80 millimeters from the deck. It's cut to three quarters or approximately three quarters of the length of the board. So my front foot's going to be standing around about there while I'm riding it. And I've left a bit extra length in the tail flap here so that I can wrap that under and get that extra reinforcement. The next step, just using a couple of pieces of scrap, we just want to cut the reinforcement patch that will go underneath this. I'll fold this back and just lay over that ridge of the tail, something like that. So we're looking at around about 90 millimeters and I'll taper it down to about 50 millimeters. I'll step back so you can see that. So it sort of looks like a bit of a tapered patch like that. And that will just rest on the deck and Again, we'll wrap it around. If you can see, that's going all the way to the flat of the bottom. So all the way down that ridge to the flat of the bottom. So that will be like that. And then at the nose, I can't remember if I mentioned the nose patch or not, but we just cut a thin strip, same deal, about 80 millimeters, but parallel this time. There's something like this. Then just fold that in half and then cut halfway in on the seam like that to allow it to fold around the nose and it's going to wrap around the nose as a reinforcement patch like so that will fold over itself and we'll wrap that I'll actually make a cut on the bottom maybe as well if it needs it and that will wrap around the nose to create this reinforcement patch so now we've got the reinforcement patch on the nose the three quarter patch with about an 80 millimeter lap, which will be covered by the full piece and the smaller piece patch underneath the tail as well.
So I've just cut the carbon patch, I've taken that off and put it to the side, and then I've pulled the full length of glass, laid that on, and I've cut that all the way around so that it's longer than we'll need to meet to the cut lap of masking tape. So as long as it's big enough, then that's what we want. So that goes all the way around. Now, before we mix up the resin, I thought I'd just explain the cuts in the tail here because we've got so much lap because we're trying to wrap it all the way around to that tail. I'll just explain how this goes together. So we've got basically a cut going into the stringers like we did on the deck, coming out on an angle, but then also another cut to make this triangle. So if I fold it up, this is the top lamination, then this is the three quarter length patch, and then this is the small patch. So what we'll have is the side piece wrapping under, then all of these laying down. This will wrap under onto the top of the side piece. This can then lap over the top of that. And then this triangle pulls it all down into the corner. It'll obviously look a bit neater once the resin's on. At the nose, we have a similar cut where we've got a cut coming into the stringer there, another cut coming into this stringer, and a cut through the center. And so if I just fold that lamination back, we can see the patch. So the patch, I've got a small cut there, a small cut underneath there and on top, and then a small cut on the stringer there as well. And so that will just allow this to all fold around that corner neatly and, and not create any bubbles. And then this one, of course, is on the top. So, so now we're ready to start setting up for resin. So the way that we'll lay this up is we'll roll this top lamination forward to the nose again, like we did on the bottom. We'll wet out that three quarter length piece. Then we'll lay the carbon patch on top of it. We'll roll the piece, the length, the full length piece back again. And then we'll just pour the resin over the top and start spreading it around like usual. I'll leave the the patches in place, so the nose and tail patches will all stay in place. Um, and yeah, so let's mix up some resin. Okay, so the resin's mixed. I'm going to roll the top lamination towards the nose. So first step is just to saturate this area where the carbon's going. So that's the top lamination done. All went pretty well. It's nicely saturated out. Of course, similar to what we just did with the bottom, we'll have to come back in about five hours and cut the cut lap. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, we'll give it about four or five hours at this temperature. So I'll be checking to see when the cut lap's ready and I'll see you then. Just wanted to quickly show you something. So it's been about three hours. And I've just come back in and just with one of the mixing sticks, 
I just come to see if anything has separated or there's any air bubbles and you can see this here has sort of uh, where it was bunched up coming around this corner has actually sort of delaminated and come down. So it's still sticky, but it's it's soft, but it's sticky enough that I can actually just force that down onto the blank so that now I'm not going to have an air bubble there when I sand it. So I'm just going around the board. You can do this after a couple of hours when the, or depending on the resin system, but when it sort of gets really sticky that it wants to stick to itself but it's not sticking to the stick and you can you can just go around and just resolve any bubbles or any areas that might need fixing so it's been about four hours it's still a little sticky but hard enough now to flip and do the cut lap I'm just holding the blade on a bit of an angle here so that we're not cutting straight down into the blank. Oh, not into the blank, but straight down into the other layers of fiberglass below it. So that's it for this video. The top lamination is now done. I've cut the cut lap, so we'll let it go completely hard overnight, and then we're ready to do our filler coats. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.